Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Yes, I know that says Shinola. And yes, I know Shinola is a very controversial brand amongst watch collectors. Um, they get a very bad rap uh, for producing very expensive quartz pieces and also the Made in America branding. Um, something that I will discuss that later on in a later video. Uh, but for right now, I just want to take a look at the contents of this box and actually take a look at this diver. Now, this is the Bronze Monster, and earlier this year I bought the watch. After I had a little bit of prize money from uh, playing fantasy football. So, I went into the jewelry store, took a look at this watch, and uh, fell in love with it. So, I'm going to crack this box open and we're going to get started on the review here. So, inside this cardboard box here, let's see. We have a fake newspaper clipping. We want beer, repeal the 18th. So this watch is inspired by um, moonshiners, bootleggers from the 20s and 30s. Um, we can see here it says the bronze monster and it comes in like an aluminum-ish case. Okay, we have another piece of styrofoam here. We have uh, warranty cards and such. Let's take this out here. One thing I do like about this channel, they have a metal card. There's a serial number and everything. Movement. So let's take a look at this here. Automatic SW200-1, 26 joule, 38 power reserve. ISO tested. And uh, lifetime warranty from Shinola. So as long as you get it serviced, you have a lifetime warranty on there. We'll take a look at the strap first, I guess. They come with two different straps. This is a teak leather strap. And the thing about Shinola is that they make their straps in-house. Um, so I have worn this one a little, quite a bit on the leather strap. Embossed with Shinola Detroit there, you can see that. On this one, let's see what this one says. 22 millimeter, uh, sewn in the US with premium leather. So I think it goes Top grain, premium, and then genuine. Here's the watch itself here. Let's move this out of the way. And this comes on the NATO strap, a khaki NATO strap here. Come on. All right, and after struggling for a bit, finally got the watch out. Here it is. This is the Bronze Monster. 43 millimeter case diameter, 51.8 lug to lug, 22 millimeter lug width, and a whopping 15 millimeter, excluding the nylon strap there. Uh, so this is actually a pretty hefty watch. It has a, a lot of weight to it. It has a 120 click uh, bezel here. And the bezel actually feels pretty good. Um, no back play, maybe a very little back play, if any at all. Feels really good, it ratchets very well. There's no play up and down at all. We'll put that back to the top there. It has a sapphire crystal, single domed uh, with AR coating. You can see the AR right there, very nice. Um, and a screw down crown. This watch is actually 300 meters water resistance. So it's a, it's a pretty beefy watch there. Let's pull out the crown here, very smooth. Crown popped out really nice. Let's try to wind it up here. Let's see how well it winds. Very smooth winding. All right, let's get this click. Let's see. First position. Very distinct, very smooth. And then second position. Nice snappy. You could set the watch however you like. Let's get a good time here going. Very smooth. I like the hands. I like the hand layout. I like the indices. Uh, very nice, very broad. I like how everything looks. Placed very well. Let's thread it in here. Very smooth on the threading. Threading, I mean, for how well this watch is made, I'm surprised it gets a bad rep. The indices, very nice. I'm trying to get into focus there. It's a little bit dusty on the top there. 
You can see how it kind of distorts at that angle. It looks pretty cool, actually. All it has is automatic at the bottom there. Very clean layout. Shinola at the top with a little lightning bolt. And the four o'clock date window matches the matte black or the glossy black dial face. Um, now that it's very clean watch. They did a very good designing this watch. Um, let's take a look at the case back. Let's take the strap off. And there's the back of it. It has the classic Shinola serial number built in Detroit with imported in Swiss parts or imported parts, Swiss movement. You can see everything that it says there. Registered mark, all that stuff, all that fun stuff there. All right, putting the strap back on. This right here is eight months of patina. So when you first get it, it's not going to be as dull. It's gonna be a lot shinier. Now, Shinola does have instructions on their website. Um, I believe it's two tablespoons of baking soda and a little bit of lemon juice. Um, you scrub that on with a toothbrush and wipe it off with a clean cloth and it will uh, return to its natural bronze, shiny bronze state. So this is patinaed a little bit. Uh, you can see the lightning bolt logo on the side there, a little bit darker. Uh, the bezel itself also has some bronze and this is a matte uh, black aluminum bezel with bronze uh, numerals on there. Uh, single pip there at the top. Yeah, overall, very nice watch. Has a bronze um, buckle here with little holders for the NATO strap. Uh, you know what, let me put it on the wrist here. And here's the Shinola on my seven and a half inch wrist. It looks a little bulky on this. Um, so if you have a smaller wrist, you're probably not gonna wanna put it on the NATO strap. It just elevates it up. I mean, you can see how high it sits on there. But for a nice summer weekend watch, it actually fits pretty nice. Let me see, let me put it on the leather strap real quick. And here it is on the teak leather strap. Um, it sits a little bit better. It has a bronze buckle there. It sits a lot closer to the skin there, so it feels a lot better, uh, a lot less cumbersome. I actually have a leather, or I'm sorry, a rubber strap I also put on there. Um, this has quick release tabs, so it's easier to switch out um, whatever watch strap you're feeling like wearing that day. But overall, I like the way this watch feels. I like how it sits on the wrist. Um, with the leather strap. Let me see about putting it on the rubber strap. And here's the Shinola on this green rubber strap that I bought. Doesn't have the bronze buckle there, but I will need to find a bronze buckle. The ones that come on the Shinola are like a millimeter too wide, so. Uh, but no, it looks really nice on this green leather, I'm sorry, this green rubber strap and uh, very functional. I like the way it feels. I like everything about it, really. So yeah, the retail price on this watch is $1,650. Um, you are getting a very solid build quality. 300 meters of water resistance, sapphire crystal, bronze case. Um, and then you're gonna have that little bit of American build, um, just knowing that you're going to support uh, a community. You know, it's not built overseas or anything like that. Um, it's going to be assembled in Detroit. So that's a good little clever bit of marketing there. Um, and then, yeah, if it just comes in a limited edition bronze case and everything like that. They do make stainless steel monsters, which I would prefer because I usually wear my watches on a bracelet. Um, maybe a little bit of regret there, but overall, this is a very nice watch. So that's the Shinola review. So. If you liked it, like video, leave me a thumbs up. Consider subscribing below. Um, leave a comment. What do you think about Shinola? And uh, how are my hands here? Is this cooler? Do you rather see my face? I don't know. Did you make it this far in the video? If you made it this far in the video, say this in the comment section. We want beer. I got to go watch some football now. So, peace out.